one of the great features of America is that uh, we have political contests, that they are very hard fought, as this one is hard fought, and once the decision is made, we unite behind the man who is elected. The people of the United States have made their choice, and of course I accept that decision. He has won. We are all Americans. He is our president and we honor him tonight. There is important work to be done, and America must always come first, so we will get behind this new president and wish him, wish him well. I have said repeatedly in this campaign that the president is my opponent, not my enemy, and I wish him well and I pledge my support. This is America. Just as we fight hard when the stakes are high, we close ranks and come together when the contest is done. But in an American election, there are no losers. Because whether or not our candidates are successful, the next morning, we all wake up as Americans. Whatever our differences, we are fellow Americans. And please believe me when I say, no association has ever meant more to me than that. I so wish that I had been able to fulfill your hopes to lead the country in a different direction. But the nation chose another leader and so Ann and I join with you to earnestly pray for him and for this great nation. Thank you and God bless America. Um, last night, I congratulated Donald Trump and offered to work with him on behalf of our country. I hope that he will be a successful president for all Americans. Donald Trump is going to be our president. We owe him an open mind and the chance to lead. Our constitutional democracy enshrines the peaceful transfer of power. And we don't just respect that, we cherish it. This is a fraud on the American public. This is an embarrassment to our country. We were getting ready to win this election. Frankly, we did win this election. We did win this election. If you count the legal votes, I easily win. If you count the illegal votes, they can try to steal the election from us. We think there's going to be a lot of litigation because we have so much evidence, so much proof, and it's going to end up perhaps at the highest court in the land.